Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hi Taurus, it's sign. This is January 2023 reading and this is general, may or may not resonate everyone. So take what resonates and leave the rest. So let's see what are the messages for you and what's going on. Taurus, it's sign. Sun, moon, rising and Venus. First we will see general, then we will see love messages. Messages for Taurus. Let's see your messages, Taurus. Your recent past. Wow. Your present. I think you are more focusing on your career. Okay. Under the deck, seven of pentacles with high priestess. Chariot, yes. Right now you want to achieve your goal. So that's why you're focusing on your goal. Lots of you, you invested your energy on something and you're waiting for your results. Uh, and high priestess, Trust your intuition and follow your intuition. At the same time, you are hiding something from your family or from your friends. At the same time, some secrets are going to be revealed here because the high priestess is here. Again, the chariot, definitely you are on the right path, uh, Taurus. Maybe there, there will be some obstacles on your journey, but with your determination and hard work, definitely you will reach your goal. So be consistent and do your work. So let's see your reading. Recent past, four of pentacles. The Fool and Ace of Pentacles. In recent past, you were holding back emotionally or financially. Then there were new beginnings in some area of your life. It could be in relationship or career. You found stability in your finances and you took chances. And you found new opportunities in recent past, Taurus. And you were in a new energy, fresh energy in recent past. Then present nine of pentacles, the Hoffent and king of cups. Right now you are enjoying your success because you achieved a lot. Uh, nine of pentacles. Uh, you are no more dependent on anyone, either emotionally or financially. Uh, always celebrate your success because you achieved a lot right now. If some people, if not, you are going to achieve because King of Cups with, uh, with Nine of Pentacles, definitely a lot of opportunities are coming in your way and you will learn so many skills uh, regarding your career because the offense is here. So upgrading your uh, skills or learning new skills. And for some, uh, you are going to start your spiritual journey. Some of you are dealing with another Taurus. Then future Queen of Swords, Judgment and Ten of Wands. In future, you will take your power back and you will cut off someone from your life, Queen of Swords energy, and you will use your logical mind a lot. And you will make some important decision regarding your life. And Ten of Wands, you will feel overburdened uh, due to heavy work or due to heavy emotions. Uh, so if you are unable to handle these burdens or these emotions, uh, try to share with other people. And the person involved in this connection could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So Taurus, let's see love messages. Some of you are dealing with Leo, fire sign, under the deck, eight, eight of pentacles with three of wands. Lots of you are in long distance relationship here, living in different cities, states or countries. 
So Taurus, what I'm getting here? Maybe there is no equal given thing. But you both want this connection. You're both thinking about each other a lot. You both have strong soulmate connection or past life connection with each other because we got here six of cups. And eight of cups is also here. Uh, someone is emotionally uh, disappointed here in this connection. Either it could be you or your person. Maybe there is no constant communication between you and your person. But you both want communication. Uh, especially one person want constant communication in this connection. Either it could be you or your person. So if you both want this relationship, definitely Eight of Pentacles, it's all about uh, investing. And patience is the key here. You both have to be patient and you both have to work on this relationship. Uh, then only it is going to be next level. Definitely this connection has potential, guys. Strength card is here. Uh, but for this, you both have to invest. If one person is investing a lot than the other person, then there is no point uh, of balance here. So balance is needed. Uh, but you're constantly thinking about each other a lot. Some of you, if you are in separation, you both are thinking about reconciliation and communication. So let's say you post an next action towards you. Taurus. What will be their next action? Some of you are dealing with Libra. Yeah. They do have feelings for you. Because we got Knight of Cups is here. Seven of Pentacles with Justice and Nine of Pentacles. Maybe right now your person is busy with their career. They're focusing on their career right now. Because Nine of Pentacles with Queen of Pentacles. But they do have feelings for you. They want second chance if you are in separation. If you are not in separation, they want balance. Yes. They're ready to invest on this connection. But they want some time. Or they need some time. Because Seven of Pentacles, it's all about taking time. Because they are busy with their career or with their things. That's why uh, they want some time here. But they do have feelings for you, Taurus. Knight of Cups. They have very, very deep emotions for you. And Justice, yes, they want second chance if you are in separation. So let's see your feelings towards them. Some of you are dealing with Scorpio water sign. See? For some, definitely both are in separation. It is one type of ending between you and your person. Right now, some of you are going through major transformation. You are obsessing with this person, but you are not expressing your feelings. You are going through a lot. Some of you, you are waiting for communication or you want to convey some message to your person. Uh, definitely some trust issues involved here. You are not trusting this person. Seven of Swords is here. Maybe you are thinking that third party involved in this connection. King of Swords, you are also very stubborn and you are obsessed with this person. But you are taking your power back here. You are not making any more. Maybe you are expecting communication from their end. Some of you definitely both are in separation because we got here death. And some of you, you are dealing with Capricorn X sign. So let's see what will be the outcome here. See, this connection is totally stuck and a lot of trust issues and a lot of burden. And you both are manifesting this. You both are not on the same page at all. You both are manifesting these issues and you both are manifesting this ending also. Definitely, I'm seeing endings, lots of your separation. If you both want each other, you're both thinking about each other, but nothing is happening right now. To be honest with you, I'm not seeing any reconciliation. I'm not seeing any uh, upgrade in this relationship uh, because the hangman is here. Definitely, you both are stuck on each other. You're both thinking about each other a lot, but there is no growth in this relationship at all for right now. Because 10 of swords, endings. And ten of wands, ten, seven of swords and the hand, man, you both need to work on yourself first. So let's see what is the advice for Taurus. Pain of pentacles with page of wands. Focus on your career, focus on your pentacles and be practical. So let's see energetical messages for Taurus.
you both feeling overburdened in this connection due to no balance due to unbalance also so the thinking man and action journey so whatever is happening in your life right now it is a part of your journey and the thinking man with action so if you want to do something take action first uh, maybe you are you are always wondering about uh, your passion or something but you have to take action that is the message here and the thinking man think twice before making any decision so this is a reading for you guys hope it resonates to you please do share like and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon then you will get all my video notifications thank you so much for watching and supporting me thank you